The company had said earlier that it plans to seek a holistic uh, debt restructuring plan. What does that mean for its upcoming debt maturities and the potential default scenario that we're talking about here? Yeah, so as we said, this is the first ever uh, public bond default for Country Garden if it fails to pay that coupon. And I think that event itself still has a milestone event because Country Garden so far hasn't really defaulted publicly on any of its debt payments. Um, and one of the implications of that is that it will trigger all the series of uh, cross default that's related to other uh, debt instruments that's not just limited to dollar bonds. Uh, so I think that's significant for Country Garden, but on the other hand, it has warned that it's seeking a holistic restructuring, which means it's not expecting to be able to pay any of these debt payments. It's trying to negotiate with its advisors and then its bondholders uh, for you know a restructuring, a, a complete debt restructuring. That will mean it will halt all payments. This has been seen in the previous developer restructuring scenarios. Um, I think one of the risks that we have experienced, you know, with Evergrande in the past two years is that this will be another lengthy and potentially messy uh, restructuring process for Country Garden. And it's not just Country Garden, right? I mean, earlier today we were talking about Sino Ocean extending their voting deadline for Yuan Bond coupons themselves. Tell us a little bit about if we do eventually see an offshore default by Country Garden, what sort of market implications are we looking at? Yeah, so the market has been selling off the, on that expectation that Country Garden will eventually default. We're seeing so much struggle that it had with paying that $15 million coupon uh, that was due last month. And uh, if you look at Country Garden's maturity schedule, it has two more bonds that, uh, two more coupons that are due on dollar bonds this month alone. And it has more uh, next month. So even if it's able to scramble the money to pay the upcoming maturity uh, that there's remains the question if it's going to pay others so it's really not sustainable and a default scenario was really kind of uh, a reminder to people that you know the, the property crisis for China's developers are far from over